Today, we're talking about a critical issue that has sparked protests across the UK, especially in Northern Ireland, the drastic changes to the winter fuel payment. Pensioners have been rallying at Stormont, demanding the restoration of this vital support that has been reduced, leaving thousands of elderly individuals in financial distress ahead of the cold winter months. The winter fuel payment, which used to be available to most pensioners, is now being limited to only those who are receiving pension credit. In Northern Ireland, this shift means that an estimated 249,000 pensioners will lose this payment, leading to widespread concern and frustration. These changes have disproportionately affected low-income pensioners, particularly those who may not qualify for pension credit but still struggle to afford essential living costs, such as heating during the winter. At the heart of the protest was a sense of betrayal and anger. Protesters carried placards and chanted, when pensioners are under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. This powerful message underscores how deeply pensioners feel about this sudden change, with many saying they haven't been given the chance to properly budget for the winter ahead. Margaret Galloway, a member of the National Pensioners Convention, expressed her frustration, stating that the decision was imposed without warning, leaving many feeling undervalued and struggling to make ends meet. Critics of the policy argue that the Northern Ireland executive could have taken a different approach, rather than following Westminster's lead without consultation. Dimna McGlade from Unite Retired Members emphasized that this move is unjust and lacked proper data or reasoning. Pensioners feel abandoned, as they are being hit hardest by a policy that targets those least able to cope with rising energy costs. John Martin, Regional Secretary of the National Pensioners Convention, echoed these concerns. He pointed out that this protest at Stormont was part of a larger, nationwide movement to oppose the cut. The rally is meant to send a clear message to the government. Pensioners will not sit idly by as their rights are stripped away. The government has picked on the people who are least able to fight. But we will fight back, Martin declared. As pensioners marched from the gates of Stormont to the parliament buildings, their voices resonated with many who worry about the impact of these cuts. Mark H. Durkin, SDLP MLA for FOIL, also weighed in, acknowledging that while saving money is necessary, not providing the winter fuel payment could ultimately come at a cost, particularly to vulnerable pensioners who may fall just above the qualifying threshold for pension credit. This situation is not just about financial assistance, it's about dignity and survival for many elderly citizens. The winter fuel payment has been a lifeline for pensioners, especially those who live in fuel poverty, a significant issue in Northern Ireland. Cutting this support leaves pensioners more vulnerable to the harsh realities of winter, and without a proper safety net, the consequences could be severe. The protests serve as a reminder that pensioners, many of whom have contributed to society their whole lives, should not be left out in the cold literally and figuratively. Their demand is simple. Restore the winter fuel payment and stop penalizing the most vulnerable. Stay subscribed for more videos.